Hey everyone, it is around 3.36, 3.35, 3.36 p.m. on Saturday, Saturday, I can say Saturday, right? Saturday, February 18th. Uh, it's gonna be just a, a quickie one today, trying out some snacks and, and whatnot. Um, Cause I'm not doing much today. I went for a walk over around Motomachi. I was gonna take a walk through, you know, more side streets there. Kind of ended up, kind of ended up doing that. But I did a big diversion where I went from from there, kind of early on in the street, up back towards like America Yama Park and the foreign cemetery that's over there. And I was gonna go into there until I realized you had to pay to get in. It was, it was not that much, I was just, I was being cheap. But I was like, I don't know, it's a, it's a cemetery. I know you guys need the money for the upkeep, whatever. So I just ended up doing like this big loop, coming back around to like Yamate Park and going through Yamate in general and climbing the hills around there, which of course my knees were like, fuck you, thanks for, thanks for that. Uh, cutting through a couple of different parks, kind of getting lost for a little bit until I found the train line. It's kind of hard to, to get lost because once you kind of go around some of the corners, you're like, oh, well, there's a stoplight. Oh, and there's a map and, you know, it's an, his it's an historical neighborhood. There's maps everywhere. There's parks everywhere. It's, and even with the, what I thought what I was covering, I thought it was a lot until I realized once I came back to the end, I'm like, oh, I'm back at Ishikawa Cho. And it's like, okay, I don't even probably maybe, maybe two miles <laughs> altogether, but it was nice. Uh, even, even with the hills, it's a, it's a pretty nice day today. It's, what is the temperature right now? It's about 14 degrees Celsius, which I'm just gonna do a quickie conversion in my head. I'm just gonna multiply that by two, add 32. It is about 60 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Roughly, it's probably more like, you know, in the high 50s. It's nice though. If you're in the sunshine, it's perfect. So yeah, just went around there and um, just went for a walk and enjoyed it. Uh, I did have a snack along the way. I got a really tasty uh, yakitori skewer from fam Family Mart, the Tade flavor, the sauce flavor, that's really good. I tried out the sour cream and onion Pringles flavored family chicken again though. I had it a few days ago. So I saw it and I was like, oh, I wanna try it. And I tried it and I was like, I don't know if I got the wrong one because it didn't, I feel like it had less flavor than the, than the standard family chicken, which that tastes really good. And this one is just like, what is this? doesn't taste like, all right, maybe something happened. Maybe my taste buds today are fucked up. Uh, I tried it again today. No, same same problem. I don't think it tastes like sour cream and onion. It's quite the letdown. They do have a, a, a crispy chicken, in this, usually in the, in the same case. And I wanna say that's like a, a breast tender. So I wanna try that out and see if it has the same problem. We'll see. But I'm gonna try non-meat products right now. Although I did on accident find that uh, the coffee cups right now at Family Mart are Shin Kamen Rider themed. I'm sad that opens like two days after I leave. So that's cool. Anyways, I'm gonna try a couple of things here. Um, I got these, I think from, I think I got them from Family Mart actually. Uh, Koi Kea, I think that's Amai Kata? Yeah. Sweet, spicy, Katamucho flavor uh, chips. Yan Yum flavor, Yan Yum Dare Chikin. That seems to be pretty popular. I've had, I, when I went to Jonathan's family restaurant over near the uh, Yamashita Park the other night, actually it was last night, um, the sauce I got was Yan Yum. Uh, one of the things I think I got from Mega Donkey was Yan Yum flavor, it's a, it's, it's a Korean thing. We'll see how spicy they are, because the sauce at Jonathan's actually had a bit of spice to it, but, uh, I don't remember if the, the thing from Don Quixote was that way, but I mean, Karamucho stuff's good. I'm gonna have to open it this way. Is that Umasa, um, whatever the fucking, <laughs> whatever that is. If it is hot, I have another thing that will, uh, ooh, smells good. If it is spicy, I will have something to cool myself down with. Oh, these are different. No, no, never mind. They're just like regular chips. I, was ex I don't know why I was expecting them to be, like, ridged or anything. All right, let's give it a shot. It's definitely sweet. Spicy. Mmm. 
back of the throat spice, yeah. You know, they're really relatively well seasoned. They're, they are sweet though. And that kind of makes sense for the sauce. It's got a little spice. It's not what I would call hot. I think there's some garlic in there as well. The, the one thing, speaking of sweet and chips, um, the Mexican tacos flavored Doritos, those are really good. They're probably too sweet though. I don't know why. I'm trying to clear something out of my mouth while I'm, hmm. You know when you get food kind of stuck between your cheek and your gums? Yeah. But yeah, the Mexican taco flavor, hmm. It's good. It's just, I, I don't know why it's so sweet. But I think it's got beef extract powder in it as well. So it does really like nail the flavor of tacos. Anyways, I've got to translate this other part on here. So you know Gadi Gadi Kun, the, the ice bars. This one I found, Softo Kun, Densetsuno Premium Chocolate. They mentioned something on here about the cacao. Let's see if I can get that angled. So I mentioned something about the Gadi Gadi Kun flavor. So I saw it and I was just like, wait, that looks like the Gadi Gadi Kun, the, 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 the giant mouth, except I think it's a different character, but they're, they're, they're not. But I'm assuming since it's, a, it's an ice, it's obviously gotta be an ice cream bar, but like I've never seen these before. I like chocolate. I don't need it after the chips. Those aren't spicy enough. Ooh. All right. Yeah, this looks like it's a, you know, it's a little melted. I mean, it's like solid chocolate, solid chocolate ice cream. All right. Hmm. Oh, okay. But it falls. It's kind of like Gotti Gotti Kun, where it has a an outer shell and then it has a center to it, which if you do it in the summertime, the outer shell is kind of crunchy and then you have like a shaved ice center. No, this has you can probably barely tell because the colors are really similar. There's an outside part. Mm. And then like an icier in, icier interior because you get a little crunch into it. Oh, that's good chocolate though. Mmm. Hell yeah. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I don't even remember how much this was. Hold on. Do I still got the receipt in the bag? My reusable bag? Um, that's a note. Can I put it in my pocket? Yeah, maybe. Wait. No, that's from the coffee place this morning. Well, all right, whatever. <laughs> no, this is really good. Yeah. Mmm. But they're so melty, man. You can fall apart. All right. I'm talking with my mouth full. Chips? Okay. This, really good. I will get this again. I don't care if it's, you know, wintertime still. I'll get down on some chocolate ice cream. Anyways, yeah, that's going to be it. It's already gone on for, you know, nine minutes. It was supposed to be a quick video, and it never is. Um, so tomorrow, you'll probably get a vlog from the train, because i got to be out of here by, like, seven... No. Actually, yeah, probably by, like, 7.45 or so, because I think I'm going to take the walk down to Ishikawa Chill Station to catch the train there to get to Shin Yokohama, because I think it's a straight shot there. And I want to be there by about 8.45 because I already got my ticket. But I need to get there and get provisions together. I need a, you know, ekiben. I want, uh, you know, a bottle of water. I want some coffee. I want stuff to take with me because it's going to be, I think I get into Hiroshima at like 1.30. So it's like, it's, it's going to be a four-hour trip, essentially, from, I'm shaking the camera, sorry. I'm just rattling my foot, but shaking the table. Um, uh... Yeah, it's gonna be about four hours. So maybe I, hell, I might even try to live stream from there. Maybe that'll be the vlog. 
we'll see. I know you're supposed to be quiet on the trains, but if it's if it's not busy in that green car, I don't know how many other people are going to be seated with me. Uh, we'll see. If, if not, it'll just be a vlog and I'll put up something something short for that day. But uh, be on the lookout for that. Anyways, that's it for, for now. I'm going to finish all this stuff off and put it away. I got to get some cleaning done anyways and some uh, organizing before I take off for a week because I will uh, be back here at the end of that week to get everything else together and then change spots in Kanagawa. Anyways, that's a very long outro, isn't it? All right, guys, uh, stay safe, stay well, watch out for weirdos out there, uh, go get some ice cream, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye.